What do you think about the first female president also well, being um, Kalinago? I, I think we should be enjoying that. Mm -hmm. Because I, I want to say, one of those days, my relative will be a state leader. Congratulations, Mrs. Burton. And I hope you will continue holding us as Kalinago people in your heart. As you know, Mr. Rani Burton has been nominated for the presidency of Dominica. What do you think of this? I think it's a great achievement um, for the Kalango people on a whole and for Miss Sylvani um, Burton. I think as a Kalango woman, I feel very proud of the decision and I just feel great. I am very excited and very proud as both a Kalango woman of Mrs. Sylvani Burton. She has years of experience and I think she has been doing a great job in the community and she will continue to do great things. I would just like to wish her well, to congratulate her. Congratulations, Mrs. Sylvani Burton. I think you represent our community well. You'll continue to do so. And we are expecting great things from you. We are very proud of you. My name is Rosman Burton. I'm from the Salibea, Kalinago Territory. And uh, yes, let me say Mrs. Burton is my sister-in-law. She is married to my brother. And when I first heard the news, I was like, oh my God, I was so happy for her, you know. And uh, I know she's going to do well. She has worked in many various places and uh, she's uh, like a popular lady and everybody knows her. And I know she's going to make us proud, the Kalinago people, and as of the first woman in the Kalinago territory, we are very happy for her. And uh, congratulations, Mrs. Burton. We all uh, with you. Wow, how great that is for the Kalinago territory. I mean, having known her, mm -hmm. she is really a long to earth person, serious right. about um, developing her people mm -hmm. and the Kalinago territory on a whole. And personally, if I tell him I want to congratulate you on your recent, I mean, position as president of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Yeah, I just wish Miss Burton good, good luck. Congratulations, Miss Burton. I just wish everything go well for her. Not much have to say, but I just wish her good. So I'm pleased about it, and I said to myself, it was time that the people of the Kalinago territory should have somebody to represent them in parliament or whatever in Dominica. I'm very proud about it and I'm happy about it and I hope that we pray and trust that you will be able to continue her work and then, you know, to make us feel better than how we are today. Yes, congratulations, Sylvani Burton, and be strong and I pray for you that you will continue your work. I think it is awesome. I think um, that is a win for Dominica and also a win for the Kalinago people. Being the, she being the first um, woman president of the Commonwealth of Dominica, White Kukuli. I think that um, she will do great, and she just shows that um, Kalinago people can head the main office, the main political office in the Commonwealth of Dominica as well. So I believe Mrs. Burton will, will do a great job, and I look forward in her doing a great job as well. And this is a plus for us in the Kalinago territory and in Dominica on the world. To Mrs. Burton directly, I would say, Mrs. Burton, I am happy for you. I think you well deserve your place in society. And you have showed a tremendous effort and strength that you're well placed today in your position. And the other thing I would say, look up to us as women and continue doing what you have to do for the Kalinago territory. On the nomination for the presidency of Dominica, um, I really wish her well and as a fellow Kalinago, I'm very proud that she was nominated. It's unfortunate that it's taken so long uh, for Kalinago to have any kind of um, recognition in this country, especially as an, an, an independent nation, but you know, we'll take that. Ultimately, it's really up to us, the Kalinago people, to hold whoever is appointed um, for to represent us, whether it's chief, whether it's as a parliamentary representative, 
or president or even prime minister of this country. It's up to us to assert our rights, to claim our rights, and hold everyone equally accountable. I think uh, I'm really ecstatic about it. I, I am really, really, really pleased with that nomination. Uh, and I know she will get it. Um, the first woman president for Dominica, that alone is so historic. And being a Kalinago person, we are just so happy about, about, about that, that, um, that appointment. It's going to bring something great for the Italian people, something, it's going to lift us, lift us up. Because in the past, we were, the Kalinago people were just, um, uh, we were just a nobody, all the, I shouldn't say nobody, but uh, we were not really looked up to. But yeah. now, I believe it's going to be uh, a different uh, ball for, for us in, in the Kalinago territory. So I am extremely happy for that. I, I look forward to her. Um, she taking up the, the, the mantle of leadership as president of, of Dominica, and, and I'm just so pleased. She's from the Kalinago territory, and she can reflect on the struggles of the Kalinago people from the time of colonization till today, and maybe we'll make a decision when she have to act, that she will act in the interest of the community and in the interest of her people. I can only wish her well and hope that she will get the strength and the courage to act when she has to act. Well, the, I think the, the nomination for Ms. Burton come at a very um, great time within the Kalinago side of things. Right now, I think it is a great nomination, and I think it comes in time where we, for, because of this year, we are recognizing 120 years since the establishment of the Kalinago territory. It, it, it has been once said, or it is still being said, that the Kalinago people are somewhat marginalized. But I, I feel that her nomination is putting us, we the Kalinago people, at the helm of things, making us definitely know, uh, for one, that a Kalinago woman can, can be at the forefront of things within the, on the island-wide level itself. So I am very grateful for the nomination of Miss, Miss Sylvani Burton. And I, for one, definitely know that she will do a great job at that um, when she is put into that position. The nomination of a Kalinago, and by extension, a Kalinago woman is phenomenal in the sense that we have never held any office of such high esteem, not even that of the prime minister. And to ascend to the office of um, president is something that is truly rewarding and uplifting for the Kalinago people. There would seem to be within the public space um, opinion that seems that she may not be the most suitable um, Kalinago for the position. However, I have known Mrs. Burton for a very long time. We've worked together and we are currently working together. She's been working on initiatives at the Concord Primary School with me and I must say that I have gotten results um, from these initiatives and I hope that she will continue to take that community spirit and development with her into um, the State House. But more so, I would expect her to look out more for the Kalinago people. Um, as she ascends, the community should ascend with her in development as well. So I am hoping that when she gets there, her eye doesn't turn off the Kalinago people, but rather she begin embracing the Kalinago community more. And I can only hope that everything works out well for her. And I look towards positive results in whatever capacity she can for the Kalinago people and Dominica by extension. So. Congratulations, Mrs. Burton. I am very proud and elated for you. Go out there and do your best.